This story appears in the December 31, 2021 issue of Forbes Asia. Subscribe to Forbes Asia Mike Cannon Brooks, one of Australia's richest people with a $20 plus billion fortune, is passionate about protecting the environment and saving the planet. He lives and breathes sustainability in everything he does, and is deploying his own funds to make a difference. In late October, just before the start of COP26 in Scotland, Cannon Brooks and his wife Annie pledged to donate 500 million Australian dollars, 357 million dollars, by 2030 to non-profits seeking to alleviate climate change. With this pledge, Cannon Brooks leapfrogged into the ranks of more established names to become one of Australia's most generous philanthropists. Yet Cannon Brooks, 42, wants to do more than be an altruist. He also wants to affect change with savvy investments that do well while doing good. On the same day he unveiled his philanthropic plans, he also announced that he is doubling down on renewable energy and other sustainable projects, aiming to invest 1 billion Australian dollars into the sector, on top of 1 billion Australian dollars he says he's already deployed through his self-funded investment firm Rock Ventures. Then there's the property buying spree in New South Wales where he aims to transform large tracts of land into a green paradise through regenerative agriculture, which tries to reduce carbon emissions released by traditional farming. Their plans for the properties include breeding crickets and other insects as protein alternatives while using electric tractors and solar power on the farms. Australia has a big problem with agriculture in general and how we're going to transition that industry, says Cannon Brooks by video call. One property close to his heart is a 40 hectares country home in the rural village of Kangaloon, located in an area known for its vineyards, rainforests and waterfalls about 140 kilometers from Sydney. There's lots of trees, kangaroos and wombats here, says Cannon Brooks. The tech billionaire says Australian companies have no choice but to become more sustainable as environment-conscious countries increasingly impose carbon taxes on fossil fuel imports and even stop buying them, a troubling prospect for the world's largest coal-exporting country, by value. The transition from fossil fuel dependence to renewable energy requires both financial and philanthropic investments, says Cannon Brooks. You need a lot of academic studies to be done in showing how these new technologies work for different areas and regions. This is where his donations to Australian groups such as Beyond Zero Emissions, BZE, Climate Council and Rewiring Australia play a major role, especially since Prime Minister. Cannon Brooks criticised the plan on Twitter, saying it lacked a clear blueprint on how the target can be achieved. BZE has been rallying the Australian government to deepen its commitment to climate change initiatives.